While I was working on my upcoming video about retro PC gaming the Linux way, I had a lot of trouble getting the games run with Lutris because of missing 32-bit packages. Some games had no audio, some games crashed, and some games refused to start at all. Flatback solved all of these issues. So in this video I want quickly to talk about the mentioned problems and what makes Lutris as a flatpak so awesome compared to a traditional package manager. At least for PC retro gaming because modern games and most emulators as 60-bit applications should not be affected. I'm currently working on a video about setting up a cheap Linux machine for retro PC gaming and the thing with old games is they are 32-bit applications and need 32-bit libraries, which are often missing on modern distributions. For this video I'm using Catchy OS with the LXQ desktop environment and since the games are old Windows games I need to run them through Wine. In order to make my life easier I installed Lutris to the Catchy OS package manager and then the problem started. I quickly realized that some 32 bits libraries were missing and because I'm lazy I didn't want to install the libraries individually. I was hoping that the Catchy OS gaming meta package would contain all the missing libraries. Unfortunately, for some reason, the package manager was unable to install the gaming meta package. Of course, I could look online for a solution to my problem or even use my brain, but like I said, I'm a lazy guy, so I was hoping that the flatback version of Lutris could solve all my problems without me having to do any additional work. Luckily, it did. All my classic games suddenly ran without any issue, the sound worked again and no crashes. But before we talk about why the games worked with the flatback version of Lutris, Let's quickly talk about what caused the problems in the first place. There are already many videos about Linux package formats on YouTube, so I won't go into too much detail and just provide the necessary context for this video. The philosophy of Linux is that the libraries are shared between the applications, which means there is a central place in the file system where all the libraries are stored. You could think about this as the library of Linux. This approach has many advantages. For example, it saves space on the hard drive because a shared library has to be stored only once and a copy of it can be loaded in the RAM as many times as necessary. Another important advantage of shared libraries is security. If a vulnerability is discovered in a certain library, then this library needs to be only patched on the system itself and not in each application. This would of course not be possible if every application would have a private copy of the same libraries. Then every application would have to be patched individually. But as everything in life, this approach has also its drawbacks. The problem is, if some libraries are missing, that a certain application expects to be available, then the application will crash or not work as intended. That's why most Linux distributions have a package manager that ensures that the required libraries are installed after an application has been installed. In the case of my Lutris installation, the 32-bit libraries were optional because they are only needed for older games. And as a side note, not all applications are installed with the package manager, but they often still expect certain libraries to be available, which further increases the problem. The reason why my old games run without issues with the flatback version of Lutris is that flatback applications are packaged with all the necessary dependencies, in this case also all the optional 32-bit libraries that are necessary to run retro PC games. But flatpacks are smarter than simply shipping an application with a copy of the necessary libraries and other dependencies. Flatpaks can share most of the dependencies with each other, for example, if Flatpak application A and Flatpak application B needs the same version of a certain library C, then a copy of library C is stored only once in the file system, but Flatpaks cannot share the libraries with non-Flatpak applications. This still consumes more space than the traditional Linux approach to shared libraries, but it's still better than having a copy of the same file over and over again. The advantage is that applications bring their own libraries and are no longer dependent on the system. In addition to that, flatback applications are usually sandboxed, which means they have only limited access to the host system. In order to ensure that if outdated libraries with vulnerabilities are contained in a flatback, it cannot easily harm the host system. But again, as almost everything in life, flatpacks are not perfect either. Aside from the increase in storage consumption, some applications may have issues when packaged as a flatpack, mostly due to the sandboxing. To quickly summarize, the flatpack version of Lutris comes pre-packaged with all the 32-bit libraries that are necessary for retro PC gaming. I'm really curious which applications you guys use as a flatpack and what your experiences are with the different packaging formats out there. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video and consider subscribing. See you in the next one.